Hello everyone, welcome to a daily run. I did play yesterday's daily, but if you go on Reddit and have a look at what people are complaining about, yesterday's daily lasts a whole, ooh, five minutes, not even that, minute and a half maybe, before you get into this bullshit room that kills you dead. <sighs> Here we are though, a Judas run. We like these, we start off with such good damage, but such bad health. Uh, and I don't mean like cataracts and, you know, hearing problems and, you know, maybe heart disease, all that sort of thing. Horrible gangrenous toes. No, no, no. Just low HP. Which means we have to really, really not get hit. This is actually a curse of the maze floor, so we don't have... Um, oh god. <laughs> Help. We do not have to worry about devil precedent, which is fine, but we do have to worry about not dying against this champion version of the haunt. <clears throat> Which I believe is the one that only fires spiders at us, so uh, it's not, and I somehow dodged that. I feel like I've um, maybe recharged my Isaac Fu. If you don't play a game for a while, I don't know about you, if you have some sort of competence at the game, you don't play it for a while, ah, it's HP is great as Judas actually. I find that when you come back to it, you feel some sort of refreshment goes on you. Suddenly gain some more sort of karma, maybe not playing it as a karmaic system. Uh, but, uh, you, know, you, you take a couple of days off, or you get really salty at it one day and never play it again. Uh, and then when you come back to it, all of a sudden, you're super good at the game. Or at least you have a sort of preternatural sense about the game that previously you didn't have. We could go into this curse room now that we've played our boss and won. Yeah, we'll take Dry Baby. Dry Baby's actually a pretty good item. I was umming and ahhing about it, but I don't really know why I would do such a thing, because it's a great, great item. Uh, we should use this to get rid of that thing so we don't get hit, take any more damage than we have to. So I'm feeling refreshed, I'm feeling limbered up, I'm feeling ready to Isaac the shit out of this daily. It's only going to Mom's heart, so we do want to be looking at doing boss rush. Uh, we'll just leave, but we will on the way past get this tin to drop that no doubt you all saw, and I did too. He gave us a bomb back, but also a spirit heart, which is why we're here. What am I doing with this pill? Well, I'm not taking it for now. Maybe it's a telepills, maybe it's a full health pill, maybe it's a health down pill, so... Oh, I can't get those, so I'm just not gonna. Uh, there are many things the pills could be. It could be completely innocuous, or it could be an upgrade of some description, but I'm kind of a little bit unwilling to take that chance just now. That could have been not necessarily the sensiblest thing to pick up that hard, because if there's a boss trap room on this floor, we could have got into it. But now we can't without selling some HP to the devil, or some other way. Oh, so many. I'm just going to take them. Bombs key is fine, because we have a decent amount of both, or a sensible amount of both. It's not like we're rich on one and poor on the other. And I can prefer to have more keys than bombs we take it. It's a tears upgrade, so I'm glad I did take it when I did. Look. Not taking this item, Brother Bobby. It doesn't really help us to not take the item, but it doesn't really help us to take the item either. Why am I a funny colour? Can someone explain this? Yeah, sure. We'll have a trinket that effectively does nothing. Um, I believe it just changes the hitbox of our tears, which is actually a pretty decent change. But, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it's a pretty shit change if you consider that we have changes available to us, like Death's Touch. Um... But as far as changes go, it's not the worst. And it's a trinket, so it doesn't really cost us anything to have it. And we can replace it in future with some trinket that gives us a better advantage, like a uh, curved horn or the other one that's really good, the cancer trinket. I'm very confident this is a secret room. We do have enough bombs to make it triable. And now I think we go to the shop before we do the boss, just in case the shop can have something really useful for us. I mean... Honestly, a, tint, a spirit part would be super useful, but we have... Do I want Box of Friends or Book of Belial? Book of Belial is giving us the benefit of giving us a... Um, oh, I've got spider mod, spider mod though. Spider Mod I really like. Book of Belial gives us a better deal with the devil chance. It's not 100% like it used to be, and we've probably covered this in previous episodes, but... It used to be 100% chance to get a deal with the devil. It was effectively a goat head, but you could put it down. Uh, but we did take Spider Mod instead of replacing our Book of Belial because, as noted, it's a better deal with the Devil Chance or the door, whether it's Devil Door or otherwise. 
what we've got in here. Krampus fight. So this may actually turn out to be an angel run. Depending on how the game feels in future. Dry Baby there is really uh, demonstrating its effectiveness, which is to collect bullets and occasionally produce the Necronomicon effect as a result. It's a really good shield, if nothing else. Um, but it isn't just nothing else. It also gives us that effect. Olympicol is also a nice damage upgrade. We might as well take this HP. We didn't sell any. I'm going to spend the time to go to the curse room because it could give us a great advantage that some people just don't bother with. And I know it's going to slow us down and we need to get to boss rush, but what we'll try and do is power through the rest of the floors. Um, note that there is a uh, self-sacrifice room on... Brilliant, I'm, I'm super happy. Uh, self-sacrifice room. This is not the time to do that. But it does give us a way past the mom's heart fight, which is something that we're going to be looking to try and do. Um, but we don't want to do it necessarily before we get to the womb. Womb 1 is sort of a bit of a maybe, maybe not situation. If we find one on the womb 1, probably want to do it then. If we don't, we hope for the one to show up on the womb 2. If the one doesn't show up on the womb 2, we curse ourselves for having not done it a lot earlier. But honestly, trying to do the dark room this early on, it's just asking for trouble. There's no way you're going to be able to do it. Uh, and I don't think, honestly, the amount of points you'll get for doing so would make up for not doing the run in between, especially boss rush is worth 4,000 and... Oh, that's not very good. Uh, going to the dark room is only worth 10,000 plus the, you know, the bonuses you get for being in the dark room. Not a very nice reward. This is a nice reward though, an HP upgrade plus uh, some damage. I won't go into the shop, let's not spend our last key when we've only got one cent. I do that often and I've realised, no, I'm not doing it now. I've realised, in fact, that the reason I'm asking why I'm a funny colour may be something to do with my monitor. I'm honestly not sure. I do feel like I'm more blue than I should be, but my personal, you know, my personal qualms, my personal curios, my quirk of life, which I can't get removed at the sanitarium, is colour blindness. So everything seems blue today, but honestly, I feel like Dry Baby is less blue than we are, so... Why am I blue? Maybe it's one of the things we picked up. We haven't picked up that many things, so maybe it's <laughs> maybe Brother Bobby turns you blue. Let's go in here. We've already found our item room. Oh, bad, bad damage. Use this. What are you doing? Yeah, good. Get rid of that. Excellent. Spider mod is going to be helping us out. The main reason I like Spider mod is it just gives you an indication of which enemy to keep shooting. It also gives you an indication of where enemies that are currently invisible actually are. And I mean the ones that are underground, you know, like the diglets from the womb that I always complain about. Angel room, definitely going to be an angel run then. <clears throat> oh, this is nice. Uh, apparently we're fighting the angel statue, so there's that. I think we may get extra points for this, so I'm not too upset about doing so, but it is slowing us down that little bit more than it needs to be. Uh, yeah, showing us the diglets when they're underground is terribly, terribly good. Uh, by the way, we just picked up Flight and Spectral Tears, which is the... Angel Room equivalent of uh, Scary Spirit of the Night from Devil Rooms. Wow, this is the tankiest angel in the world. I think it's probably one of the only angel items that has not only a, a counterpart in Devil terms, but also is anywhere near as good as some of the Devil items you can get. Which may not be very fair on certain angel items like Godhead, um, which is literally the only angel item I can think of <laughs> right now. Might as well take it. Thank you. I don't know what we get for collecting the key piece, but collect it I did. We might as well leave this floor, try and power through, get a little bit faster, try and get some speed behind us, because we're at nearly, well, nearly 10 minutes is probably being a bit mean on the amount of time that we have actually spent, but, you know, we've got this floor to do yet, and it's only cave one, cave two, okay. So we're just about on time, but obviously we want to go faster than we need to, rather than just right on time, so we're going to try and speed it up here. Flight will definitely assist with that. And we should use Book of Belial whenever possible also to assist with that. We have a strength card just in case we do get a deal with the devil. That can help us with an extra piece of HP. But we might just consider using it to speed up a room or a boss fight that's being particularly tanky. Strength on top of Book of Belial I believe stacks. Just to give us a damage bonus. Uh, we might as well do this room first. Uh, okay. That's a very helpful black heart right there. I'm going to avoid the big room for now. It can take a while to beat, but also I want to have the uh, Book of Isle available for it. 
This room is nothing when you can fly. Oh, also, ah, one of the best parts about spider mod is that it tells you when something's about to die, and those things that explode when they die, you can actually stop shooting them just before you get put into a situation where you have to, you know, be in the different position. So you can reposition yourself just before the enemy dies. Which is really nice. I'm glad I came this way. We did find our uh, shitty item room. I did put a coin in it. I didn't really mean to. Do we take 10 bombs? I think we can do better than 10 bombs. Ah, I don't think Taurus is better than 10 bombs. Hmm. So yeah, spider mod good. That's all I have to say about that. Honestly, um, the caves themselves pretty easy. It's the easiest of the floors. It's the one you start with before you unlock... What was I saying? Pretty easy. Walk into enemies. Get dead. Infested. Infested. We'll open this. Didn't really do too much for us, but we can at least now continue to re-roll the item room. Plenty of money in here, and a golden key will allow us to open golden chests, which is nice, but unfortunately, I had already opened it. Let's go back to the item room, see if we can turn it into something actually worthwhile. And if the reroll machine explodes, the reroll machine explodes, what are you going to do? Uh, yeah. Wait, that is not what I thought it was. No! I thought it was lusty blood. But it isn't. It is anemic, which is pretty bad unless you get hit once on a really long room, e.g. boss trap. We should probably go to the... Um, shop. I also kind of want to just get out of here. I'm using the strength card here, because, as I said, a tanky boss. They both stack. We're knocking him out of the park, actually. Chewing him up like a chainsaw. Yeah, this has gone really quickly. I'm glad to have got the, ta the tanky boss over quickly, because, ooh, magic mush as well. Because just having that bit of extra speed behind us does mean I'm going to go to the shop. I have realised that we could go to the self-sacrifice room right now. Is a secret room as well. Oh, it's green. Well, we get some points for it, but no real benefit. Except the steam sale, which could be good on future shops. Well, it will be good on future shops, but... Really, I'm thinking about... how many of those there are. And, of course, they have to have something worth it buying in them. But all our big items will be seven cents, all our consumables will be three cents so we can at least try and buy some spirit hearts or maybe a bomb or something like that that allows us to improve ourselves didn't really get too much out of the previous floor wow we've got magic mushroom it's actually a great everything upgrade it's one of the better damage upgrades that comes with an all stats <clears throat> but picking up anemic was a bit of a mistake because i would have kept rolling if i'd realized what i was doing uh oh i got confused there i thought that one had jumped <laughs> so i'd moved and then of course the other one had jumped and it landed and hit me that was a great shot, though. Did you see that? Everyone saw that. It's on camera. Go back and watch. This room, though, takes forever. Deal with it. One? Maybe there are two and I missed one. Yeah, we'll do this. Guppy's paw might be worth cranking on once or twice. It is a guppy item, which is definitely something we're interested in just per se. I've got to use it once. Give yourself some absolute HP, which will protect us to deal with the devil slash angel chances in future. Uh, which is right here, apparently. Apparently we're doing it again. Oh no, this is an actual bomb, but we will do it, because why not? I'm mildly confused about what's about to happen in that other room. Did we get the points of beating it? Honestly, I'm not sure how many... Uh... I'm bigger than I thought it was. <laughs> um, I'm not sure how many waves we did, so I'm not sure if we've actually beaten this room in here, but we can't do anything about... We can. Okay. Uh, not a good idea, because we're obviously going to spend even more time now doing this, but it is what it is. Looks like deals with the devil are actually completely off the cards right now. What is happening? These things, when they have that temporary moment of invincibility, also have a temporary moment of sort of blindness when they're not paying attention to you. So make sure that when you attack him, you're, um, that was dumb. Make sure that when you're trying to goad them, that they're actually being goaded. We're doing a good amount of damage now. we just got the Relic, which is going to really... It's a purely defensive item, of course, but it's basically going to keep us alive. There's no way we lose this, that's for sure. But there is definitely a way we fail to get to Boss Rush, which is by failing to get to Boss Rush, which happens every time. So, 
sure. We'll take Obsessed Fan. It's not very good, but we can't really roll it. I would like to know where I'm going so that I can not be here and find the boss and get out the floor a little bit more quickly, but that ain't happening. In here we have Gurglins, which is not what I'm here for, but let's leave. <laughs> See you, Gurglins. Thanks for trying. Didn't really want to play with that fortune teller. It could have given us a bunch of spirit hearts or even paid out with the, uh, the fortune, the crystal ball, but eh. You know, yeah. I hope that says everything. That's how I feel about it. Yeah. Did we find we found the item room? It wasn't very good. We've got more spirit hearts. As long as those, as long as we get hit less often than they show up, we'll have a net profit of HP, which is really the goal. Of course, we can hang out over here because we have spectral tears as well as flight, which is actually really nice. Thanks, try baby. Right on time. Right on time. Uh, we'll use this here because I don't know what's good for me. Maybe we'll find Super Creed in the shop, but I kind of feel like getting this room done quickly is going to be better for us than getting the boss done quickly. It is Super Creed, so we get the boss done quickly as well. Really not quite sure how I'm dodging right now. Not, um, I I'm aware how I'm doing it. I'm getting out of the way of the shots, but my size and my odd shape I'm not quite sure which of bit of me is dodging. If that makes sense. Which it does. Watch out there. This is basically a Krampus fight that becomes two Krampus fights. But we've got so much damage. I mean, who am I kidding, right? And we've got Dry Baby helping us out. More of the Void is excellent. It is a deal with the Devil item, which means we get the benefit of a deal with the Devil item without paying for a deal with the Devil. We've already beaten both Angel statues, so... And we've got some decent items out of the Angel statues, which is very uncommon. Steven is fine, but what I'm not going to do is keep spending keys in there, because it occurs to me that we only have... Well, we don't have enough left. 99 bombs. Sure, let's explode everything. Fuck it. We did get into this floor way ahead of time as well. Which is really nice. And we don't know which, um... don't know what our items are going to be. What is all this... Why am I keeping a blank room? Here, Hagalaz. It wasn't Hagalaz. It was, in fact, Answers. Which tells us where we're going. So, we basically have nothing to worry about right now. More keys, Vicar. is also fine with me. More of the Void is an excellent, not only... Uh, offensive item, but it's also very good as defensive. Because it... The attacking with it has the op... That is not where the secret room is. Attacking with it has the opportunity to produce black hearts from the enemies that die. Also, we can now get into the boss trap room without actually... Now, this only works once. Harlequin Baby is not very good, but who cares? Um, you can get into a boss trap room with a bomb if there's a secret room next to it, but only if you immediately go in after blowing up the, the doorway. Because if you come back in, it will be covered up and won't explode again. Pro tip from the experts. So we want to be doing this. We've got... I got really confused there. <laughs> We've got plenty of... Um... Well, keys actually, but plenty of time to get to Boss Rush. We know where we're going. We have a bad gas pill, which is going to be obviously the best thing ever for us. I should have used the two of spades, but I left it behind and I couldn't be bothered. Uh, nothing really to say now. We just hit things hard. Our standard tiers are great. We have a lot of money. We might as well buy everything. Fanny pack is okay. Magic fingers is not... I'm not going to pay for the spirit heart because we have the relic and we have more of the void, which are going to be filling us up in these... Uh, these shield-type hearts pretty aggressively. Tears up. Yes, please. Look up. Yes, please. Addicted. No, thank you. Infested twice. Sure. Let's get a couple of spiders. Pretty sure it gives you one spider unless there's... I think the question mark one causes spiders to spawn on broken poop. And the exclamation mark one causes spiders to spawn on unbroken poop. And in either case, you get one spider just from yourself because presumably you've got both broken and unbroken poop inside you. Which makes sense if you think about it. Don't knock it. Great, we got a shrink effect. That's spider mod, by the way. One of the other things it does do 
cause a random status effect to anything that walks into it. Oh yeah, don't forget about more of the void. It's so easy to forget, but also it's so easy to just not bother with it. Let's see if we can get a small rock out of this. We can't, but that's okay. I'm tempted to take Whipworm over other worm. Uh, pulse worm, because it kind of has slightly more tangible a benefit. You have to keep moving on this room, mate. It's true. Stand still, everything. Things jump, and you don't really know where you were when they jumped, and that's the hardest thing to deal with. But that's basically what got me all the time. Let's use this now. It's only going to be one wave of boss rush before we get to use it again, so hopefully those are nice, easy bosses, but you never know. With the mom fight, I don't even know. You just get used to it, I guess. When I first started it, I just danced around all the time, trying to be everywhere all the time. But honestly, you get you know, a little bit of... Ooh, I deal with the devil. You get a little bit blasé about it and start standing still, and then you move... Oh, I hate betrayal. This is bad as well. <laughs> this is really bad. Okay, we'll keep this. Um, you sort of stick around, stand still. Eventually, something happens. Which one would you take? in this situation. First of all, I will get rid of these. <laughs> I was waiting for more of the void. I'm going to get rid of these. Because I'll walk into them, no doubt. I will take this one. Friend zone. Also shit. Oh, also Book of Belial seems to have charged up at the start of the wave rather than the end of it, so I'm also happy with that. Turns out you can use Book of Belial on the mom fight and then immediately have it available for boss rush. Do wish that we didn't have... Oh, hello. <laughs> Bad times. I do wish that we didn't have Curse of the Blind, so we could have picked our item, but the other one could have been even worse, so don't count your chickens before they're all in one basket. Hello. I I was thinking, doesn't that face mean that you've shot at me? It does. <laughs> uh, I couldn't see the shot. And Betrayal is going to be pissing me off every single time we take damage, which is... Hopefully not that often, but it also counts any time we intentionally take damage, like on a demon judgment or something, so that's very unhelpful. This, this horsey needs to go. My horsey. Horsey gone? Maybe. We could have accidentally the horsey, or maybe um, maybe got stamped on by the cage here. The gate? The cage? Yeah, the cage. Let's go with the cage. Mega fatty here. We've got another spirit heart. The relic is also going to be doing its job, doing its thing, here during boss rush as well, so all the damage that we take is basically going to be a problem in terms of points. It's not going to be a problem in terms of staying alive, we've got everything going for us. We also have Necronomicon effect all the time, thanks to Dry Baby. And we have more of the void, which can help us clear out a reasonably large area every so often. We can't do Hush, which is a shame, because this is actually a very good Hush-based run. Having um, more of the Void, I think, often can turn a, a boring run into a Hushable run, just because Hush keeps throwing out those waves of enemies you can just leather with more of the Void and collect a shitload of HP out of, if you're lucky. And our luck upgrade has probably gone far enough as to actually uh, to do what to do what look more like, so... We should be getting a decent payout from more of the void simply because of our luck upgrade and of course if we could stop um, walking into these things that would be swell. We did take a bit more damage there than is necessarily a good idea. It is possible to beat um, Brownie without getting hit but not whilst you're also trying to avoid being hit by the adversary so I don't feel too bad about it. I know maybe I should but I don't. You can't make me. Oh, oh, that was really good. Everything showed up at exactly the right time. Look at all that damage. You can see the numbers floating off. I mean, Spider Mod, if nothing else, just gives you that morale boost of showing quite how much damage you're doing and quite how quickly. That always gets me because I keep thinking it's the betrayal thing, which means I've been hit, but it's not. I'm trying to listen out for the uh, sounds of Peep here jumping, but pretty difficult to hear over the sounds of everything else dying horribly all the time. That thing just dropped a red heart. I'm fine with that, but I don't really have any use for it. Yep. Not taking too much damage against things that I would be embarrassed to take too much damage against. Ooh. 
that angel just has gone. Where did the angel go? That was embarrassing. Okay, let's, let's uh, stop with that. But then we've got Dry Baby just killing everything for us all the time anyway, so whatever. We can keep refreshing our HP. We don't even need to lose this black heart because a spirit heart on top of half a black heart fills up half a black heart. Sort of gets uh, diluted. I guess it means we get black heart energy out of nothing. Infinite black heart energy. It's an ever renewable resource. Man, how many. I'm pretty sure we're done. That, uh, it's monster, okay. It's not monster 2, that's what I was worried about. Uh, also, this Joker on the huge room is just a nightmare. It's not a nightmare, it's just a pain in the ass. It disappears and you can't find him. Kill that quick. Yes, please. Famine, you ain't got no chance. Just surrender. Just spend your life in this sweet surrender. Done? Nope, not done. There's a buried enemy, it's Pin. It is Pin. Nope, it's the other Pin. It's new Pin. Rail. He's dead. Now we're done. We've got a question mark. Thank you for the question mark. Ipecac. Lol. Well, now we have Ipecac. <laughs> what are we going to do? Not fire as often, I suppose. <laughs> ah, this is going to be fun. Ipecac with Spectral Tears, I believe, is okay. Because we're not accidentally going to fire it and hit ourselves because we're too close to a rock. It also means we don't have to be super concerned. Oh, that was bad. About, um... Why are you still firing at me when you are... Oh, you're firing at that. Okay, fine. Uh, we just need to make sure that we're far enough away from enemies when we fire at them. Also, it has poison damage, so anything that becomes invincible when we hit it, like those damn turrets, ain't invincible no more. Well, that spider landed exactly where I was trying to run away from that spider. Into. Polycephaluses are dead. Now I'll be looking for some Tinted Drops to try and replace the HP that we just lost. I mean, some of that HP was a bit silly to lose. Some of it was kind of unavoidable, I think. Like that spider turning up in exactly the place that you would not really have anticipated. Well, maybe you could have anticipated it, but I didn't. I don't feel bad about it, but I feel like I could have gone round the other way. But trying to react to the direction the spider's going in this weird sort of not quite 2D projection. Not that easy. Chariot card. We might as well use two of spades now then. I want to take the chariot card with me to see if we can get some benefits out of them. Um, maybe a, a demon judgment? We could get some benefits out of a blood bank, but the main benefit you'd expect to get out of a blood bank is the blood bag. Let's go and explore, see if we can find a uh, self-sacrifice room is what we're after here. That was a good place to stand temporarily. Wouldn't have expected it to be, but it was. Eternal Heart as well. <sighs> maybe we don't want to do a self-sacrifice room in case we lose that. Well, maybe. Ah. There's no point in rushing to hush, so we can spend as long as we like searching for it. All that we really lose is... Uh, the speed bonus, which... I mean, who cares? Ah, good. Aha! Oh, I hate it. The chariot. Come on now, give me something. Give me something good. Chariot, temperance. Temperance. Uh, no. <laughs> the sun. Well, we got some HP out of this, so we can do this more often. Oh, free thingy. Now we can take. Both of them. That will give us permanent Polaroid invincibility. I was considering not taking... I don't really need Book of Bilal now. I was considering not taking the, um... The Dark Bum now, because we don't really need the defensiveness. But then we would have been left on 1 HP, and at this stage of the game, 1 Red Heart is basically worse than 2 Red Hearts, because you can't take half a Red Heart to get to permanent Polaroid invincibility. Um, but what we can do... Is take them both, and... Both like have permanent Polaroid, permanent permanent Polaroid invincibility. Yeah, that's a thing. Should it? Like that. It's a bit of a shoddy play, but okay. And I've taken Guppy's head because why not, right? Sun card. 
Friends till the end is fine. Guppy's head is just a lot of very high damage friends, basically. Of course, if I'm gonna keep taking damage like that, I'm gonna be glad that I took Dark Boom. I'll open it. No, I don't wanna take it. Bob's brain can be pretty bad in many situations, and plus it's I'm gonna justify not taking it by saying it costs us points to do so, but I'm actually gonna not take it because I don't like it. <laughs> I mean, I could take it. Uh, we're already very explosive. That was very lucky. I don't know how I didn't get hit there. Um, but uh, I don't know. It's difficult to know when to fire when you've got Bob's brain. It's just as likely to explode up in your face as Ipecac shots are. Got 99 bombs. Maybe we should use them. Maybe we shouldn't. I don't know. I feel like I've explored this floor fairly thoroughly. Okay, famous last words. Let's go this way, and then we'll have explored the floor fairly thoroughly. Yeah, that's it. So there's no self-sacrifice room on this floor, I'm confident in saying. I'm pretty glad that we got that demon judgment to pay out when we did, because... I mean, we could have tried to get a deal with the devil now, hoped for a deal with the devil now. Yeah, that's not going to be a secret room. And then try to continue playing it, but I kind of just wanted to. Yeah, we got one anyway. Kind of just wanted to, you know, keep the. No, I don't need that. I kind of wanted to make sure we just finished, right? I didn't want to hope that we came back in order to be able to get those other two items. I wanted to take those two items. Oh, there's our Guppy item, so that's really good. Now we're Guppy. Not as good with Ipecac, because obviously each shot still only produces one fly, but those flies are such incredible amount of damage, and they don't explode, unlike the actual shots whose damage they're based off of. But we should be fine. I mean, Mom's heart will go down in an instant. And we kept hold of Guppy's head, mostly because having all these flies is super useful. And having a few extra, it's not going to hurt. But I, mean, I can't see myself using Book of Belial. <laughs> okay, very good. No self-sacrifice room here as well, so there's no way out, basically. Which is a shame. Unless we get, like, the shovel. Or an AWAS room. And we know... We don't know where the super secret room is, but we should be able... I should really have been looking for them a bit more thoroughly than I have been. Does this tell me? It does. Right, okay. So there's one way out. There could be an AWAS room in there. Could be a shovel in here. Apparently there is not a shovel in here. Joker card? Two of clubs. Not really useful. Stop betrayaling all the fucking time. It's extremely unhelpful. There is also a dice room. Which could be a five. And if it's a five... It could give us the opportunity to come back to this floor with the self-sacrifice room. Which... Those... those Voices. It's utero, you can tell, because there's people talking in the background. It's really weird. It is a five room. That's very interesting. Hmm. I mean, we could hope for the best. I'm going to do this just for some cash. Some points, basically. Hoping to get something decent out of it. Oh, I don't want to take that. I did take that. So what I'm going to do... Right. I've done this wrong. Uh, look, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out a way of making sure that we can sell it back to a deal with the devil. But without the goat head, which we don't have. There's no way of actually ensuring that. But, we go and beat this floor. Beat Mom's heart once. Please, thank you. Then, come back to the five room. We redo the floor, we beat Mom's heart again. That matures our eternal heart. Now, I'm not sure... I'm not sure whether it's always the same floor. Like, the same layout when it comes back. But if it is, then that gluttony fight is now going to be... Great. Uh, something else, right? It's not going to be gluttony again. So we're not going to be able to get that HP. So what I'm thinking of doing is going back to get the HP from gluttony. Yep, instant death. Go back to get the HP from Gluttony. That'll give us one red heart. Let me go down to the next floor. We redo this floor, which gives us 
a second red heart, which means we can get back to permanent Polaroid invincibility if we need to, but really it's kind of a bit min-maxing and I probably don't need to do it, so I'm just going to do these two floors and go completely back on what I just said, and go to the five room. The five room will send us back to this floor, gives us another floor to do, anyone who didn't do it. More for you, because everyone else did. Pretty sure that will give us one more floor's worth of, you know, value. What is this all about? That happened before. That happened to Northern Lion, that's right. I saw that, that sort of darkness there. It may have something to do with the fact that we used the five room. I uh, don't really want to be in here, though. Like, I think that darkness is supposed to happen when you use the room. Because whenever you roll the dice, normally it causes the room to go dark. Oh, we've got Whipworm. Maybe that's why our range is so good, which is great. I'm really happy to have high range um, Ipecac shots because the alternative is low range Ipecac shots, which, as you can imagine, is dangerous. But we could take that to get more bombs and get a few more points out of the uh, system, so we'll do it. What's our range like now? It's still pretty good. So I'm honestly not that worried. Here's an envy fight, so. It's not the same layout, but it has got the same basic elements. Two of clubs is worthless. Why have I even got hold of it? Let's go. Don't need that stuff. Yeah, I'm wondering if those voices are intentional because obviously we're in the womb, so we can hear Isaac's mom talking to us. I don't know. It's freaky. <laughs> that's all I want to know about. Well, that's not what I want to know about. That's all I can say about it. <laughs> it's the only factor I feel that is currently contingent on my well-being and livelihood. No secret room there. Come on now. I found a gluttony, but it wasn't a real gluttony. Dark Bum's just paying out with loads of stuff, but I don't want any of it. Sorry, Dark Bum. Appreciate the effort. It's approximately the same shape, isn't it? I mean, the layout seems similar. Which means the boss is up here. But we're still hoping to find the self-sacrifice room. That seems like a super secret room. Yeah, these aren't all the same. Ah, oh, lame. Dark Bone could pay the shit out right now, but he's not going to. But deal with the devil? We did get a deal with the devil. I'm going to take them both, because I'm a noob. I fucking can't. What the hell? I hate you. That's bullshit. So, I don't know what decides whether it's going to convert to a uh, spirit heart deal or not, but it didn't convert. I was hoping to spend three spirit hearts on Horror Babylon, get even more damage, not the dip. <gasps> Look what we've got. Yeah, there's so much HP on this floor, there is basically no reason not to do this. Although this betrayal bullshit is kind of putting me off already. This permanent Polaroid invincibility doesn't last a huge amount of time, but it's still a pain in the ass. You have to step out and come back in again. We're still flickering from it, even if we do that. It's going to be fun because it's going to be angel statues in this tiny room, but what are we going to do? Bombs, bombs, bombs. That's a massive attack song, is it? Okay. Still won't really do anything here, but glad to have had the opportunity to come along and enjoy the ride. No one ever wants fucking Dead Sea fucking scrolls. Now we deal with this, we've got permanent boil already invincibility with which to tank it. I'll pick up a few more HP just because, honestly, mostly we want to make sure that we don't die when the angel shows up in close quarters with Ipecac. Although, the angel's probably going to die in close quarters with Ipecac because of our huge amount of flies. Yeah, I don't know what I was worried about. <laughs> the other one may take a couple more flies. Whatever. Oh yeah, loads of money, thanks. Why does this thing never freaking well pay out with the uh, spirit hearts that we want it to anymore, huh? Angel, please. Thank you. Die, please. Thank you. Very good. Right, now we'll go and collect. We'll finish this floor. Um, not necessarily for the exploration bonus, although that is nice. Mostly because there's so much HP around, the Dark Bum is going to be paying the shit out right now. Oh yeah, thanks for the spider. Dark Bum. More like dark, no fun. Man, what a party pooper. <laughs> Get it, dumb pooper. 
I kill me. Question marks is a power pill. That's no use right now. Many, many bombs. Bombs are key. Could have many, many keys. You should do. Ow. <laughs> My flies just ruined this room for me, honestly. Fuck you, flies. Because they split it up as soon as they got there and then the pieces were just already up in my grill before I could do anything about it. Uh, I mean, considering we have this many flies and a very low tier rate, we actually don't have too low... We've got a lot of flies, is what I'm trying to say. Very, very difficult to say it. That was a good guess. Sure. What have you got for me? We're min-maxing the shit out of this. This is probably extremely boring, but look at all the things that are happening. How can it be boring? Full health. Oh, run away. Good. Chests, please, without bombs in. Oh, we've got a halo. We've got distant admiration. Now with Beelzebub, we can fly. Oh, we've been guppy since fucking forever, but that's okay. Teleport. <sighs> Kilo. It's appropriate. Teleport. Yeah. We didn't die on teleporting, that's the important thing. Right, now we just have to hope that our flies can carry us long enough that we get a decent amount of spirit hearts. Friends till the end is some flies. Addicted is bad, amnesia is bad, full health is useless. Flies deal with that. Some marks is speed up, which is okay. Friends till the end is more flies, okay. I think they can. <laughs> There's a spirit heart right now. We will take a friend. We are now conjoined, so we're firing three epic act shots all the fucking time. <laughs> oh god. This may actually be a bad transformation for us, because that th those extra shots are just going to hurt. Or they're just going to hit two enemies at once and be the best thing ever. Pretty sure we would have found a secret room there. We have the key, but there's no possible way of doing Mega Stan. Which is unfortunate, because we have the key. Dark Bum is picking up all the red hearts, of which we have two more than usual. Every, well, one more than usual, because we did take the contract from below. We will take this. I'm looking for the super secret room everywhere. Main secret room everywhere. Probably would have found it. I don't really need to aim at the enemy that's in front of me or nearby me when I get into a room, let's be honest. Just let that one be. Ooh. Yeah, we'll take both of these. Let's see what happens. Let's get funny. Oh, shit. I was going to say we don't have any Ipecac shots anymore. They are extremely low rate of fire. We have a technology laser whilst we're waiting for that extremely low rate of fire to fire. It's just doing one damage. What the heck? <laughs> Bullshit. Okay. We actually took damage there because rather than just... Letting my flies do the work, I tried to shoot an enemy that was almost guaranteed to hit me. And did hit me, so... Very lucky that that was not um, the wrong item. When I started this run, if you recall, we got bloody lust. No, we got uh, anemic, which I thought was lusty blood. There was a very good chance that just now I accidentally picked up eye in the back of your head rather than freeze effect, but I was reasonably confident. But reasonably confident doesn't seem to be confident enough these days. Ow. Excuse me? I'm not quite sure how that worked. I fired a shot sideways and it hit me in the face. Gordon knows how. We've got Spelunkus out, which shows us where the secret rooms are when we stand next to him, which is good enough for me. I'll use bombs to deal with it. We are still making more HP than we're losing, which I think is a, a good shout. That's what you want to see. A look upgrade will help us Get more of them chest things. Plus. Plus. <laughs> Let me out. Got Mr. Mega as well. I wonder if that affects our epic hack shots. Uh, sure. Let's take everything. Libra. What is this going to do to us? It's massively reduced our damage and massively increased our rate of fire. Oh my god. Help. I really wish I had... Um, I really wish I had my whip worm back. <laughs> um, the mean game took away my whip worm. Also, I don't know where my body is. And that's the bit I dodge with.
I... I don't... No. <laughs> I help. Just let your flies do the talking. Don't worry about it. Look at this range. It's... It's just out... out, out. It's, it's untenable! I walked into my shot because I hadn't landed before I... The hermit. Look, let's do this one... Final room. What? Let me through, I say. I haven't finished exploding the bomb. It says there's a bomb in that room, but I beg to differ. I can use these C bombs. That was not one. Uh, Tech X, does that beep? Yes, it does. So now we have Ipecac Tech X, and Tech X is fucking. Am Look at the size of these. I'm very glad we picked up Libra. <laughs> what is happening? More things. Sure. It's a parasite. That's a spaceport item, so we can't take it. And I don't want to take it. it. Says there's a bomb in here. There is a bomb in here. Take that bomb. Thank you for the bomb. This has been a long run, but I'm so glad I've visited those final few rooms. We completely nullified any problem that we ever had with Ipecac. Uh, not that we would have had one, because we just beat the shit out of the lamb with our flies. Oh, what an outrageous run. Where did we come? Please, internet. 93rd! <laughs> That's what happens when you explore. I'm so glad that we found that self-sacrifice room at the end of that and had so many spirit hearts from picking up Dark Bum. Because remember when I said picked up Dark Bum, the only reason I took them both was to have permanent polar and invincibility, but Dark Bum actually paid for our ability to get to the Dark Room. So I'm very glad that I did that. Everything went basically to plan on this run, and I am full of confidence for the next one, when I hope you will be joining me, but thank you for watching this one. If you liked it, do leave a like on the video or somewhere else where you want other people to know that you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more, but until the next time, I'll see you then.